How do quantum sensors work? If you're curious about how quantum sensors work and what makes them so special, you're in the right place. Let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand. Quantum sensors combine regular sensor technology with the unique properties of quantum mechanics. This means they use things like quantum entanglement, quantum interference, and quantum states to gather and process information. Imagine tiny particles like atoms, ions, or even photons being used to measure very small changes in their environment. These particles are incredibly sensitive, which is exactly what makes quantum sensors so powerful. There are two main ways quantum sensors operate. First, scientists trap atoms and ions in a vacuum chamber and cool them down to very low temperatures. Then they use lasers to manipulate these particles and measure their physical properties. For example, to measure a magnetic field, they place a small sample of atoms and ions in the field. These particles will split into different energy levels, and by shining a laser on them, researchers can detect the patterns of fluorescence to determine the strength and direction of the magnetic field. Second, quantum sensors can use individual photons to measure physical quantities. For instance, to measure temperature with high precision, scientists shine a laser beam and analyze the intensity and wavelength of the scattered light. This method allows for very accurate temperature readings. These sensors are different from quantum computers because they actually benefit from the fragile nature of quantum states. While quantum computers need stable states to perform calculations, quantum sensors use these fragile states to detect very small changes in the environment, such as changes in rotation, pressure, gravity, or magnetic and electric fields. Quantum sensors can detect things that classical sensors can't, like the magnetic properties of individual atoms or the presence of specific chemicals in the air. They do this by leveraging quantum properties like entanglement, where measuring the state of one particle can instantly affect the state of another, even if they are far apart. This makes quantum sensors incredibly sensitive and fast. For example, in medical diagnostics, quantum sensors can help detect diseases by measuring the magnetic properties of cells. Researchers at the University of Sussex have developed a quantum sensor that can detect changes in the magnetic properties of cancer cells, which could lead to new diagnostic tools. In materials science, quantum sensors can study the properties of materials at the atomic and subatomic levels. This can help in developing new materials and electronics such as measuring the magnetic properties of individual atoms at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST. Quantum sensors also have applications in environmental monitoring, where they can detect trace amounts of pollutants or toxins in the air or water. For instance, researchers at MIT have developed a quantum sensor that can detect very small amounts of molecules in the air, which is crucial for public health and environmental monitoring. In summary, quantum sensors work by utilizing the unique properties of quantum mechanics to measure very small changes in the environment with unprecedented sensitivity and precision. This opens up a wide range of applications from medical diagnostics to materials science and environmental monitoring.